Okay, folks, I just got done reviewing the Primo Tally, which is across the seven part Primo with a Fatale. Right here. Now, these are medium to high producers, they ripen red. Uh, I normally do this segment first on the filming, but the, I ended up doing this second. I just got done doing the review 10 minutes ago. So I'm lifting the isolation net, which helps ensure purity. It helps ensure purity. It's not 100%, but for the most part, it seems to be. Anyway, so let's get into the shapes of these. Really cool. <sighs> Check these out. Really cool tails on these. Look at that. Very bumpy. Got more ripening. I got some picked as well. And you can see from the video, and uh, <clears throat> I deceded some the other day. And I know how hot it can get. <laughs> it has a nice taste to it, but you can watch that part of the video as I'll show you not every pepper but a bunch of them a couple plants are slightly behind I'll catch up all right let's come over here got some cool tails on the ones over here sometimes you got to prune just to look at the peppers look at this one Ooh. beauty check it that little weed in there not weed you know garbage yeah i love that tail check that out anyway next segment will be the review itself watch me burn watch me burn this pepper is definitely maybe not the hottest i've ever had but it's at least a runner for it i will personally tell you that <clears throat> I only had a quarter of it in the video. So, enjoy the next segment. Well, I hesitated. I delayed. I am afraid of doing this review. Episode 16. Jimmy Pickles here with the Primo Tally. I have not been this nervous in a long time. Here's the Primo Tally. It's a seven part primo crossed with a fatale pepper. Not too much history is known about this. I know there's an orange one in Europe somewhere. I'm so nervous, I'm like sweating before I even eat anything hot. I don't know what I was doing with that. Anyway, very rigidy, very bumpy. Look at that. Look at that spike. Take somebody's eye out. So, I'm nervous. I'm not eating the whole thing. I'm grow I've grown this isolated to help ensure purity. It's not 100%, 70% to 100. This smells, honestly, like the seven part primo, but a little bit sweeter. Oh, sorry. Look at those oils in there. Uh, this this side had more placenta that I took out. Save the seeds. I'm shaking. No joke. So what I'm gonna do? I'm not eating the whole thing. I'm eating the tail. I'm eating this much of it. And I tried some a few days ago. And it was, it's like a bad seed in there. Jimmy Pickles doesn't like bad seeds. So I'm going to eat this part. I'm very, very nervous. So bear with me. It's two minutes into it. I'm going to eat this and I'll probably, might not be able to even talk. Might as well just do it, right? Fold it up and chew it up. Let's do it. Fruitiness. 
Right now I don't taste any heat. I taste heat. Taste heat. It's thin walled. I taste that Primo flavor in there. Oh boy. I gotta switch the other side of the mouth. My, my, my teeth went instantly numb. Oh dude. It's a little bit of floralness in this. Back of the throat burns since I swallowed that. Heat's building. Tongue feels swollen. Instantly swollen. Mouth is watering a lot. And I only had on the other one, like this much from here to here. I'm not spinning it out. I just got a lot of saliva. Oh. Oh. Heat's building still. I brought a peanut butter jelly sandwich. <laughs> I'm not even drinking anything. Sometimes that makes it worse. Uh, I had a little bit on my tongue. Oh boy. That's rough. That's rough. I'm like I was hallucinating, holy crap. Oh. Oh. Air's just popped. Air's just popped. Oh. Here. Oh. Oh. Man, I swallowed some of that. Back of the throat burned bad. Man, eyes are burning. Mouth is watering more and more. Sorry about that. I'm hoping it's peaked. I didn't eat that much of it, and I'm burning bad. Tongue's getting worse, probably from spit it all the excess. Yeah, this is rough. Imagine if I ate the whole pepper. This stuff would be great for sauces. I'm afraid to drink anything because sometimes it washes the cap <laughs> in the back of the throat. Oh, this is rough. <coughs> Uh, gums are completely numb. Uh, teeth are numb. Eyes are burning. You know it's hot when your tears burn pure acid. Oh, this pepper's no joke. This is just about pure suffering, this one. Oh, it's getting worse. It just got worse. I think the endorphin rush is about ready to kick in. I'm going to drink a little bit of milk. It's right here. Nom, nom, nom. I'm just rinsing. 
I don't need any capsaicin in the back of the throat. That's when I start getting real sick. Oh, this, I'll tell you what. Let me put this back in here. That put me on panic mode. I definitely peaked. It's like each pepper you could actually create a wave. It went like from this, boom, upward. And it stayed for a little bit and then it went down. I definitely peaked. I got an endorphin rush now, which is quite enjoyable. There's daredevils. This would be the daredevil pepper. You can make a really nice, super hot sauce. I think it would complement any ingredients in there if you had onion, garlic. I don't think it would mask it, but the heat. Sometimes the heat can override the flavors. I think this would be perfect for making sauces. Don't know how it would be on powders. I will make some powders on it. Not for sale, but my forehead, <coughs> my forehead is burning just from sweating out the capsaicin. Oh, this is for real, folks. <coughs> oh. Maybe it's getting worse. It's coming through my pores. Oh. Oh, this is bad. Do not do this at home, kids. Do not do this. Peppers are not always about torture or superheat. A lot of peppers are for enjoying. Um, this pepper was designed for pure hell. You're on the river of sticks without oars, and you're just burning and burning. I mean, look, my forehead is red. Just from it coming out of my pores, unless I touch my forehead, I'm not even sure. It's a, it's actually a great taste. I bet if you took this pepper and minced it and got a lot of heat out, you'd probably get a really nice fruity flavor. Right now, it just hit my stomach. Oh. Wow. And I did not do the video of going outside and looking at the peppers. I like to do that before... <coughs> I did the review because one of the reviews, that bomb, I did that. <coughs> it intensifies it when I cough or blow my nose. I'm glad I only ate what I ate. I can recover from this, definitely. Definitely recover from this. My tears are burning bad. Oh. I made a peanut butter and jelly sandwich didn't even, or just peanut butter sandwich. Right now, it hit my stomach. It's a little tender. It's going to get worse in the stomach. I will get camped. I will get cap cramps. Can't even talk half the time. Gotta blow my nose. And it sucks. Because it intensifies it sometimes. I can breathe now. Yeah, it intensified a little bit. And my forehead, I didn't even touch it. At least I don't think I did. And look, it's red. It's an enjoyable endorphin rush. It really is. I figured I'd make this video a little bit longer. Actually, see, I didn't eat the whole pepper. Here's the other half. So I ate half of a half. I ate a quarter. So... You can see how much I ate, half of a half, I ate a quarter of pepper. This thing is so gnarly, look at that. And they all got different individual tails and everything, really cool. Oh, I don't know how long I want to make this video. I'm still in pain. And after this part, which is the part you're going to see before here, I will be doing... Since it's still light out, I'll go outside and videotape the plants. Oh, yeah. 
I'm going to get cap cramps. Say orange juice is good for that, by the way. Well, Primatolic, I'm going to upload this tonight. And uh, Primatolic will be on my website. Give me like two weeks. I'm going to take my time with this. I want a good seed stock on it. I only got four or five peppers right so far. Bane Strain is available. It's an exclusive. JPPepperSeeds.com. Thank you all for watching. This is episode number 16.